Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Offset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, pass it on to somebody else who might like it as well, and drop us a positive comment in the comment section. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to read out two of my favorite comments from previous videos, and maybe one of them is yours. Also, <laughs> underneath this video is all my information. So if you want a reading done, if you want to send me a gift, if you would like to check out my merch, if you want to do any of those things or hit me up on social media or become a patron, all of that information is underneath this video. So let's check out today's topic, shall we? It says here, oh, I remember this. How do I get my Aquarius X to come back to me? Let me tell you about this situation, y'all. Hoo! Okay. <laughs> I got a message from this guy. He is a Cancer and his ex is an Aquarius. Now, during the course of their relationship, they were together off and on for five years. They're young. I think they're 27 now. They got together five years ago, so they were like 22-ish around that age when they first got together. During the course of the five years, they had some ups and downs. They've broken up a few times. And he said that they broke up because of him. He cheated one time. Uh, then he did something. I think he went away and didn't tell her. Um, all these different small things. Well, the cheating was big. But after that, he said it was small things. They argued. Um, a couple other things went on. Um, and basically for that five year period, they were off and on, off and on and, you know, revolving door queries kind of thing. Well, they finally got back together that last time. Okay. And this was two months ago. They got back together two months ago and he said everything was going very well. He had decided that he was going to do right. You know, the mistakes that he made, the other women. One of his biggest problems is that he's friends with all his exes. And if they call him and ask him for something like help, money, whatever, he has a really hard time telling them no. So what ended up happening this last time was he had told her he was going to keep his nose clean. He decided that he really wanted to be with her. After the, all the ups and downs, the back and forths, he said he realized that through everything, she was the one person who always consistently stood by him. Even when they weren't talking or when she was angry with him, she's always had a consistent spirit, a consistent energy. So he decided that this was the one. He decided that, you know, he had been running from her because he was afraid and now he was ready. He was ready to try to really make it happen. So he said he was going to stay out of trouble, keep his nose clean. He promised her no more drama, no more negativity, no more women, you know, no more BS. Well, he was at her house and they just got back together two months ago. He said it was a couple days later. He was at her apartment. Now she lives with another, she lived with a roommate. So he was at her apartment. They were laying in bed and he went to the bathroom and his phone went off. Now, mind you, he wasn't seeing anybody else, so he didn't feel the need to lock his phone, hide his phone, all the kind of tricks of the trade that he normally would have done if he was messing around. He wasn't doing anything. So while he was in the bathroom, his phone started going off and homegirl, the Aquarius, grabbed his phone. So the Aquarius looked at his phone and in his phone, one of his exes had sent him naked pictures. And he said, these were not just little coy, you know, naked pictures. Homegirl was spread eagle. She had a toy playing with it in one of the pictures. Um, you know, she was doing very sexually suggestive kind of things in these pictures. So the Aquarius is looking at his phone, looking at these pictures. He's in the bathroom. He comes out of the bathroom and the Aquarius goes off. And they have the most explosive fight. 
And he was like, I didn't even do anything. I didn't tell her to send them pictures. You know, they got into that kind of a thing. And she's like, why does she even feel comfortable with, I know this would have been my question too. Why does she even feel comfortable enough to send you these pictures? You must be entertaining her if she felt comfortable to send you pictures like that. That would have been my thing, I'm telling you. So he said, you know, he hadn't talked to her. She, you know, but they did, before he got with the Aquarius, they did, you know, have trysts here and there, you know, but he hadn't talked to her in a while. So he, she didn't know. And he told me she wouldn't have cared that he was in a relationship. But he said, if he had known that, he probably would have, you know, put her number on, you know, do not disturb or something like that. But he didn't know. It had been months since they had talked to each other. So out of the clear blue sky, she decides to, you know, to, to, to conjure things back up. And that's why she sent these pictures. So the Aquarius is pissed. They have this fight. She kicks him out. Okay. So he said he had been watching my videos and he knew that if an Aquarius got angry, you needed to give him some time and space. So smart guy, he did just that. He gave her some time and space. Now, let me tell y'all what happened. He gave her two weeks in two weeks. He went around to her home. She lives in this apartment. He doesn't live far from her. He went around to her home. He got to the home. The roommate answered the door and told him she wasn't home and that she did not live there anymore. So he thought the roommate was just messing with him. You know, they had a pretty decent relationship. He's seen her many times before. And he thought she was just messing with him because the Aquarius was still mad and didn't want to talk to him. So he was like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. She moved, right? Uh-huh. And he went about his business. Couple of days later, he came back because he noticed that the Aquarius, he thought, blocked him on social media. So he came back a couple of days later and she was like, dude, I'm serious. She moved out. I haven't seen her. I don't even know where she went. So her boyfriend was there and the boyfriend was like, come on in. You know, he invited him in and he was like, go look. He walks back to where her bedroom was and everything is gone. Everything. The room is completely bare. It was, he said it was a broom and a dustpan in the corner and the room was completely bare. None of her furniture, none of her stuff, nothing in the closet, nothing. He was shocked because he thought that the roommate was BSing, you know? So he came back out the room and the roommate was like, I, I told you, she left. You know, she came home from your place. Um, she told me that it was over with y'all and she was moving couple days later, she had her stuff and she was gone. Now, mind you, it took two weeks for him to go check on her. So she had been long gone. So he said, okay, he went home and he thought she blocked him on social media. So he made a fake account and tried to hit her up on Twitter. Then he tried to hit her up on Facebook. And I think she had Snapchat or something like that. So he tried the methods that he knew to hit her up. And he had her email. So he said he hit her up and could not find her. She didn't just block him. She deactivated her accounts. Okay? Now, you got to be a really pissed person to deactivate your own social media accounts, okay? Because I know I, I ain't never been that mad. <laughs> and I've been pretty mad before, but I ain't never been that mad to delete my social media. So she deactivated her accounts. He could not find her under his fake, you know, account. So he said that he went to the ones that he knew, couldn't find her. He sent her an email. The email bounced back. And he doesn't know if she closed the email or if she blocked him or whatever, but it bounced back. And he said that he hasn't been able to get in contact with her. So he asked me, basic bottom line, he said, what can I do to make my Aquarius ex come back to me? And he wanted me to respond on video. And to be honest with you, first of all, Aquarius do do the revolving door thing. The two of them, the two of you have broke up and got back together quite a few times. But you have to understand something. The Aquarius does not perpetually do the revolving door. The Aquarius will do the revolving door until we see that the relationship needs to be let go of. It's not going to change. It's not going to get any better. Or we decide to move on and try with somebody else you know, or heal ourselves and then move on, whatever. 
And the actions that she has taken are not the actions of somebody who will turn things around. The two of you have broken up before. She's never deactivated her accounts before. She's never moved, physically moved before. Didn't tell anybody where she was going. So my thing is, is that I very seriously doubt you're going to get her back. And the reason why I say that is not to be, you know, pessimistic, but because the actions that she took if I had taken those actions, that's what a person I don't ever want to see ever again. So my thing to you is, is that because of the fact that she's gone and she's gone in such a, 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 a like a permanent kind of way, I don't really think you're going to get her back. Um, so that's first of all, I'm not going to give you a pie in the sky. I'm not going to tell you, oh, don't worry about it. Give it a couple months and she'll come back. I'm going to tell you straight up. I think you fucked up this time. <laughs> I think you did. And I know it wasn't your fault. I know you didn't tell her to send those pictures, but I truly think that your lack of boundaries with your exes has ended this relationship. And I think that she's decided that being around you is toxic and detrimental for her, um, right, wrong, or indifferent. And she doesn't want to do it no more. And if I were you, I would give her the respect of that courtesy. If she reaches out to you, that's your only shot. If she try, if you see her by accident, by chance, um, or if she reaches out to you, that's your only shot. So the only thing you really can do is just be ready if she chooses to contact you. And from what it sounds like, I really don't think she is. Your best bet is running across, you know, running across her by chance. And if it was me, I would leave it alone. I'll be honest with you. I would leave it alone because if a person decides that they don't want you in your life, if they don't want you in their life because they feel like it's detrimental to them, I say give them the courtesy of letting them go. Leave her be. If she doesn't want to be bothered, leave her be. If she wants to be bothered, she will contact you. It's one thing about Aquarius. If we want to be bothered, we'll find you. <laughs> With natural detectives, we will find you. But I wouldn't hound her, harass her, try to find her, ask her friends and family. I wouldn't do any of that. I would just let it go. And I would change my boundaries with my exes because you did have this situation occur because you did lose something that you say is important to you i would make sure that didn't happen again and i would make a boundary with my exes um a lot of cancers tell me that they have a problem with this and every cancer that i've known personally their exes were all around and for a person who's getting to know them, it's a red flag. I always back off immediately if I see that. If I see a person, and especially if it's all their exes or several exes, that tells me they have a lack of boundaries. So I just back off. So if I were you, that's what I would work on. I would work on my lack of boundaries with my exes. So that if she does come back or if I meet somebody else, I won't lose them over something like this again. Another thing you need to do is talk to the ex that sent the pictures and let her know what is and is not acceptable. Now, there are ways on your phone that you can, you know, um, I, I don't know how you, you silence a person or whatever the case is. I guess it depends on what kind of phone you have, but there are ways of doing that. But if it was me, I would set the boundary and I would let her know, you know, if we're not talking like that, that's not cool, you know? And I would ask her not to do that, you know, or ask her, you know, tell her, let me know if something, you know, send a text message and let me know that something is not safe for work. And if I can take the message, then I'll get back to you and you can send me whatever you want to send me. You know, you're going to have to communicate a little bit with these people and you're going to have to set up boundaries. Me personally, I would set a boundary. I do set boundaries with my exes. It's like, here's a line, you stay over there. But for cancers, that's not always the easiest thing to do. You said that you have a hard time telling them no, you don't want to hurt their feelings. But if you're in a relationship with a new person, 
You have to learn how to do that. Or you're never going to ever be in a committed relationship because every time you get with a new person, one of your exes is going to throw a monkey wrench in it. So when you ask me how to get her back, um, the only thing you can do is hope that she decides to give you another chance. Hope that she calls you. Hope that you run across her or that you see her. And if you do, try your best to talk to her, to communicate with her logically. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you. Your chances are not very high based on the actions that she took and based on the fact that this is the first time she's done something like this. She's fed up. So I hate to say that to you because I know I always try to give you know people hope, but um, I don't want to lie either. <laughs> you know, I don't want to give you false hope either. And that's why I'm telling you, it does sound to me like it's over. But if something occurs and one of those things that I mentioned does happen, I would try. I would always try. One thing about me, if it's a possibility, I'm going to go for it. They might tell you no. My mama always said the worst they can tell you is no. You know? So if I had an opportunity, I would take it. But I doubt very seriously you're going to get many more opportunities. All right, guys. Time for us to get going. So let me read out these comments. My first comment came from Chantia Harper. Chantia Harper said, when they said bad marriage for life, I literally cringed. And it felt out of body. Based on my previous relationships, I felt the growth then. Yeah, she's talking about Will and Jada when they did that um, that interview the other day about the entanglement with August. And at the end of it, they bumped fist and said, bad marriage for life. That made me cringe. I was just like, Ugh, bad marriage? Mm, marriage for life? Cool. But bad one? Mm-mm. And AJ, what's up, AJ? AJ said, I'm a queen or said Haru Stan. Not in a creepy way, though. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, AJ. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And um, everybody come back soon because I have a lot more to say. See you later.